Uh, welcome, dear, dear. Uh, how queer everything is today and yesterday things went on just as usual. I wonder if I've been changed in the night. Uh, I'm sure I'm not Ada for her hair is in such long ringlets and mine doesn't go in ringlets at all. And I sure can't be Mabel for I know all sorts of things and she knows uh, oh so very little. Today I'm gonna speak for just a few minutes about all sorts of things I, Linda, uh, no, no, by looking at what I've learned from two lessons of the last six months, that of discombobulating improbability. Um, the first lesson, discombobulating, is similar to falling down uh, a rabbit hole. And as Alice described it, what a curious feeling, and that she must be shutting up like a telescope, that so many out of the way things that had happened had happened lately. So for our society, it was the spring meeting was canceled, became the fall meeting, which became the virtual meeting. And Florida is now at the end of, the University of Florida is now at the end of 2021. The virtual meeting itself changes a lot about what we do and love at the in-person conferences, the community, the social activities, the visiting the city, talking to new friends, uh, meeting new friends, talking to old friends. Um, the other serious discombobulation for us in this meeting is that we were unable to hold the Schaefer Children's Reading Program for this meeting, not that that's not possible to do. The other thing that I miss are the Carol exhibitions. So generally the host provides some exhibition, some special, uh, set up for the members and the visitors to see. So I really miss that. Again, uh, the discombobulation for the meeting. And then something that I don't miss so much, <laughs> well, actually I do. So this meeting is usually the annual meeting for both the members and for the board. And so the board has voted that that meeting will be postponed until the spring of 2020, at which time there will be elections, you will be no, notified of that meeting, and you are able, you will be able to uh, participate in at least listening to it um, and see what the work of the society is like. So from here, what it leads to is a lot of giant thank yous, uh, in particular to Arnold and Case Western Reserve for their patience in changing, running essentially three meetings in the last six months and providing all the technology and support for today. So I wanna thank him. Heather's been doing a terrific job of letting you know what we're doing and when it's happening um, and providing instruction. And the other person I want to thank is also Elizabeth Haven Holly from the University of Florida who should have been holding the meeting at this time, but because the meeting from Cleveland had already been planned and our speakers, who is my final giant thank you, have managed to stay with us and agree to participate throughout um, the last six months. So I owe all of those folks a giant thank you. This brings us to the second lesson, which I call prob Problatunity. And for Alice, that was when she was only 10 inches high and her face brightened up at the thought that she could now go through the little door into that lovely garden. So I view what has happened in terms of this meeting is to going into the lovely garden. And for us, that looks, it's a virtual meeting. When I look at the people who have registered, it's three times what would ordinary ordinarily be able, we would be able to share our knowledge or conversations with um, and have attend a Carol meeting with common interest, which is amazing to me. The other thing that the probability provided was we knew that we have to engage. We've talked about engagement with the membership and other Carol groups, but have we just talked, you know, we've wanted to do stuff, but we have not been active. So now we have planned monthly 
activities for the Lewis Carroll Society of North America. There's movie night, book club, happy hour, uh, visits to collections are planned, and um, we're looking at how to hold a virtual Schaefer Memorial children's reading. So we've committed to, led by a team, uh, Claire M. Holtz, Dana Noon, myself, um, that we will commit to one program a month and see where that goes and then see how we can increase our opportunities here. So, <clears throat> so this has provide us, provided us a really interesting way um, to meet and exchange ideas. And for that, I'm really thankful. It has moved us forward into the future. Um, not that the future is totally changed, just to let you know a few things that were already planned and will happen is the publication committee has been really active. And so uh, John Lindsay spoke about a follow on to the translation book that's being worked on. But there's also two very important books that the Carroll Society will be putting out, um, one this year and one in the, sometime next year. So the, the publication committee, which is chaired by Mark Burstein, Charlie Lovett and Edward Giuliano has have been very active in promoting and working on this, but the pamphlets of Lewis Carroll volume six, which is full title is a miscellany of works on Alice, theater, religion, science, and more, is the sixth and final volume in the series uh, that collects over a hundred items, which Lewis Carroll wrote on a wide variety of subjects, sometimes under his real name. It promises to be a really terrific book and it will be going to press in December. There will be a special rate, a very special rate, which is a bargain rate um, that will be offered to members of the society. So if you're not, maybe that will be an impetus to, to join. Then the second book that is being worked on is called The Bibli uh, Bibliography of the Works of Charles L. Dodgson, Lewis Carroll. It's an, and what it is, is a revision and expansion of the Lewis Carroll Handbook by William Madden Green and Crutch. And uh, it's, it will also be a very important scholar, uh, scholarly book. And those are coming out of the uh, society in the next year. So as far as working on the future, um, we are looking forward to meeting more of you, to have more uh, active members, to be more active with the members. Um, that we will provide our recordings. We will find materials that are uh, valuable and important to, to Carol and figure out a way to post those, um, not to duplicate work. So like the, the lewiscarrollresources.net, which I think is one of the more fabulous sites, um, has a lot of really great scholarly work on it, but see how we can work together with other organizations to really advance uh, Carol studies. So what we really want is to hear from you, you know, to see if this is successful, if this works in the time periods that we should be using it and when it's not required of us, you know, how, how we should operate. So please let us hear from us. My email is lynda.cassidy at gmail.com and on the website, you'll, you'll see there are ways to contact all of us. So thank you for joining us. The next meeting will be in the spring. It's hosted by USC and that's about the limit of what I can tell you on that meeting. So thank you very much and enjoy today.